now if you if you are, you are trying to defeat this judgment by way of a legislation of course, you may, be, you may have competence to legislate. The legislative assembly of a particular state under the federal structure may have the legislative competence to enact any law. But if you are enacting something to defeat the purpose of a concluded judgment, mm -hmm. which has attained its finality between the parties, then you cannot parallelly reopen it or defeat it. Mm -hmm. You have the option of filing an application for review, which you have done exhausted your remedy of course now there is a curative petition available now that's a different issue so there is no basis for this amended act this look at the history of uh, dam failure and mm. the, throughout the world that's a very serious consequences very serious unimaginable consequences would come so there is when there is an alternative way when humanly possible to cure that defect by constructing a new dam why should we discard that option a judgment on a such a subject is cannot be viewed only from the angle of uh, law. Tamil Nadu government wanted to portray before its people, look, we have succeeded in a war against Kerala. That is a sort of a psychological thing or a, say it has got a political color. That should not be the aspect because Supreme Court is not a fact-finding authority. Right. Supreme Court has followed a committee report. Exactly. There and can be errors in a committee report. Nothing wrong if a better committee is constituted, a larger committee is constituted, and all issues are gone into. The second issue is, earlier there was a Supreme Court judgment which had gone into all this issue, so we are not supposed to look into this issue. Examine it from three parameters, hydrology, seismology, and structure. Right. So in all these parameters, the committee has found that the dam is safe. So how many more committees you want, who can have?